when my G-Force tuners came in from my Gibson Les Paul, um, I got them off of eBay because of course you can't just buy them directly from Gibson. So I found a, a takeoff set off of a new guitar for a really good price. So I'm going to put them on this Les Paul Deluxe. So here's all the stuff that I got off of eBay. Looks like it's going to be pretty simple to, to put together. Here's a exact difference between the between the stock ones and the G Force. Color looks a little bit different, but not not much. So here they are somewhat installed. Um, the only thing that I, two things I see that is that the uh, chrome on the, these original Grove, Grover tuners are just a lot nicer than the finish on these. And then the other thing I noticed is that the uh, circuit board kind of sticks out a little bit right there, about a 32nd of an inch or so. Um, you can see it's got kind of a little lip there. So Gibson must have actually redesigned their head to compensate for that on the new guitars. Here's what it looks like on the back side, which you guys have all seen. So anyway, let me get some strings on this and see how it works. Okay, let's uh, put a couple of these out of tune here a little bit. You can hear kind of how the knobs, the servo motors make a weird noise. Anyway, you can see it's out of tune. Turn it on. Give it a strum. still kind of learning how to use this but it seems really cool it's going to be good for doing alternate tunes which I like to do so it'll be really helpful for skipping from one to another real fast that's what's got my interest about it anyway I hope you enjoyed my video thanks for watching